Welcome to Hotline TV, I'm Amy Walter. And I'm John Mercurio. There was some news over the weekend that came mm. as a real surprise to me. I don't know about you. <laughs> An Illinois politician may have done something unethical. What? Amy Walter, yes indeed. After repeated questioning Read last that. week, Roland Burris, a senator from Illinois, acknowledged that he was solicited for $10,000 by the man who appointed him Illinois, Illinois' favorite son, Rod Bogoyevich. Amy Walter, mm. what's going on here? Do you expect our viewers our faithful viewers to believe that, that, that a Chicago politician could lie. I know. I mean, it's it's asking a lot from our viewers. Now, of course, a little it bit is. of background. He had testified in front of an Illinois yes. uh, impeachment committee and, and, and denied, specifically denied, that he was approached by Blagojevich's brother, Robert. And, of course, now he acknowledges. Of course, now that he's saying, I actually never lied, I just didn't actually tell you the truth. I did not not lie. That's right. There's a big difference between that. And so what watching this press conference, and for those of you who have a good 25 minutes of extra time, you might want to log on to Chicago Tribune website and click out of the press conference. It's fun. It's, it's fun, and it's painful, actually, because I have no idea. In fact, I was more confused after listening to it than I was before I came in. Good. So the bottom line is, look, whatever the details are of this actual case, what he said or didn't say to the uh, jury in the Blagojevich impeachment case, it looks really, really bad. Mm -hmm. He may, they are trying to, in fact, Republicans are bringing him up for an impe or for perjury, to charge him with perjury. Right. Um, and even Democrats are looking into him. This says two things. First. We do not think that. Do you not think that Harry Reid and Dick Durbin are sitting there right now, going like, he's, "We told you if you just would have listened." Well, look, he's going to get no support from Democratic yep. leadership in the Senate. He has dwindling support in in Illinois. He's going to face a Democratic primary challenge. It's the not, question becomes whether or I'm not right. Democrats from Washington, including President Barack Obama, I think, get involved in this primary. No way. He won't. No way does Barack Obama get involved. But. What does Bob Menendez do? Why do you say and no I think, way? I just think he cannot. Why does he want? He already was in so much trouble for getting involved in this thing in the first place where he looked like, I'm not supporting him. Now I am. Glad you're here. No, I wish you weren't. Just stay out of the whole thing. It's not my problem anymore. I got some big things to worry about, like, uh, I don't know, economy tanking, et cetera, et cetera, troops Shh. in Afghanistan. Let, uh, let this be Bob Menendez's problem. And if I were these guys, you know what? Don't what you do is you just stay back, at least publicly. Don't say anything. Nobody's going to help them raise money. Mm -hmm. I find it interesting that Alexi mm. is it Giannoulias? Giannoulias, yes, is in Greece as we speak with Dick Durbin. Interesting. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, likely the state treasurer, the uh, a Democrat, a, a friend of uh, Barack Obama's, likely to run. I wouldn't be surprised. I understand what you're saying about Obama not wanting to get involved, but he's developing a reputation, I think, uh, for congressional Democrats on the campaign trail, not wanting to wade in, not wanting to expend any of his yeah. political capital. He didn't do it for Jim Martin in Georgia for a more obvious reason. Look, this wasn't a state where lose. he was going to do a lot yeah. of do a lot of help. He's, he, uh, he didn't do it for, uh, who else? Uh, for Special election. He didn't get involved really in the Louisiana runoff. The Louisiana runoff. He didn't, he's not going to get involved uh, in, the, in the race in New York 20. People, well, I we think, don't know. That, that seems more likely. People, I think, though, are that starting to wonder likely. when he sort of dips his toe in the water. And I think that this is an example of a place, I mean, if there's one group of people who, upon whom he has influence, it's Illinois Democrats. If you were to get behind Julian Nolius, who is his a big fan of the show? Big fan of the show, and we are a big fan of him. Um, I think he could decide that race, and I think Burris would be dead in the water. I think he could also work behind the scenes with Rahm Emanuel to get uh, Burris out of the race. Yeah, and I, can, out can of you? The Senate. All right, let's say this. What are the odds? Or how about this? On a scale of one to ten, one being never going to happen, ten being absolutely that Roland Burris, on his own accord does not run for re-election. Right. <laughs> what is Very that? low. As you said yourself this yes. morning, it is as likely for him to leave this town quietly as it is for him to decide to get cremated. Yes. So I think instead we're going to see a primary. The question is, does this latest revelation encourage more people to get in? We know what happens in crowded primaries. Right. They're messy. They are messy. Crazy things happen. It's March. Also, when is Mark Kirk going to make up his mind? Right. Well, I think he's sitting back and letting he the headlines. Can, but at some point, he's got to, he, it's an early primary, right. so right. he doesn't have much choice. He can't wait to see how bad this gets. He, by the end of the year, is going to have to make up his mind.
very interesting mm -hmm. story, and we will be keeping tabs on this and many other stories heading into the 2010 midterm election. But that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> Until next time, I'm John Mercurio. And I'm Amy Walter. That was really, really fast. <laughs> I'm know. very, very impressed. I don't know. Yeah, I just made it up. And it wasn't even on the script. Thanks for watching yes. us. Again. On Hotline. Hotline TV. TV.